Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Whiteville, North Carolina, visiting Van Underwood Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, and I'm checking out a 2019 Ram 1500 in the Longhorn trim level. This truck is sitting on 285, 45 Goodyear tires, wrapped around 22 inch alloy wheels with a matte finish and a matte black. Now there's no cladding, there's no plastic inserts. It is a full alloy wheel. It also has four wheel disc brakes with ventilated rotors on all four wheels. The name of this color is Delmonico Red. And there's a little bit of sun right now. So hopefully you can see what it looks like. So here in the front, lots of chrome. Check it out. So it has the large pieces there in the grill going across. A lot of vehicles have a really tight pattern on the grill, so this one has a just a really impressive looking uh, louver style. Now behind that is uh, active grill shutters, which will close up while the vehicle is running when it doesn't need that extra airflow in the engine compartment. This helps with uh, aerodynamics. So the parking sensors are across the front and there's quite a few of them. There's two there in the middle, one here more of an angle, but then you have this other one. It is a, at a 90 degree so that you get, that way you have better uh, coverage there on the sides. So the chrome tow hooks are in the bottom looking pretty nice. You also you can see the, the RAM name here, and there's a camera right there. There's the camera for the camera system. So this has it, the full camera system around the vehicle. It also has LED, bifunction LED projector headlights. The bezels are black, but it looks awesome. Has the RAM name there on the sides, letting you know that it's awesome headlights you got to check out my night video now on my channel just type in ram 1500 at night and you can check it out because the fog lights are also leds and there's a little something on the uh the night video that i'll just leave off this photo video so you have to go to that one to know what those fog lights do when you're driving and turning the steering wheel so looking at the profile of the truck Man, does it look good. Those wheels are fantastic. So you have uh, portions of the handles that are body colored and then chrome accents pretty much around the, on the side, uh, of course on the handles, on the side mirror, around the glass. You notice it kind of solidifies that glass around the outside with that chrome. And then the center pillar is a gloss black. So if you go ahead and tint the front glass, the front glass is already tinted from the factory. But if you tint the front glass, it just solidifies that window and gives it a sleeker, uh, just a nicer look in my opinion. Then you have the badging in chrome there on the sides. Now the fender flares are body colored, so they kind of blend in, don't stick out too much. It also has a power step down here, which is blending in pretty nice now. I bet you didn't even notice it. Epic looking key fob here. It has the Longhorn name on the back, has some gold accents on it just really nice so this is a proximity key designed where you can keep it in your pocket use the truck 100 percent but it has very useful buttons here lock and unlock the ability to lower the tailgate raise uh, lower the vehicle for entry and then you have the remote start and a panic button here and there's a physical key on the inside of this key fob that you can take out and unlock the doors in case the battery goes dead on the key fob so you always have that with you. So let's go ahead and push this panic button. Nice horn there. And go ahead and double tap this and lower the vehicle. So it's kind of subtle here. It's gonna do it front and back. So the back is gonna be separate from the front. You can see the front is going down the back is going down. So now it's at the lower height so you can get in and out of the vehicle easier. 
uh, when you want to do that. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was neat. It also has a, you can make it much higher as well. Uh, now when you're driving around, it'll, it'll have an, a normal ride height, um, but having the key fob be able to lower the vehicle before you get into it, that's, that's pretty cool. Another thing is cool is double tapping this button lowers the tailgate. Isn't that nice? As long as you have the key with you, it can be in your pocket, in a bag. As long as it's within a close proximity to the outside of the driver or the passenger door, you can lock the door by pushing that button and you can unlock it simply by putting your hand behind the handle. So it's gonna sense your hand position, sense the key close to the outside of the door and unlock the doors and allow you access to the vehicle. It also has a uh, physical key location on the driver's side only. Love the badging they have on this truck, especially the inside, wait till you see that. Man, you're gonna love it. Okay, so looking here, First of all, before I open the door, I'm gonna leave you in suspense. It has the blind spot monitor system. The indicator is here on the side mirror, uh, indicated by that little triangle there. And you notice it's a two-piece side mirror. And um, so this portion here is separate and it's also auto dimming as well. Okay, so here we go. Start the inside. This is my favorite part. Now the, the power step folds down. So as I open the door and close it, the side step will meet, meet me in the middle there. So let's go ahead and open the door back up so you can see how quick it is. And that way you can get in the vehicle a little bit easier. Okay, so the inside of the passenger side door, starting at the top, almost everything, I'll, I'll point out what's not soft touch surfaces, but there's a lot of soft touch surfaces. Here at the top is soft touch. You have the contrast stitching and a French design. Very subtle, it's not too popping out too much. Soft here, then you have a wood grain. This is real wood, it's exposed grain wood. And then a gold portion around the outside, soft touch, kind of like alligator skin style there. Soft touch armrest. Now this goes through, so you can utilize this pocket a little bit better. So if you put something tall in there, uh, you can put something in like that. And then that pocket is just basically very useful because of the position of it. it's in the center, it's in the middle portion of the door as well, so it's easy to get to. The speaker surrounds are in that gold color. And then they have a massive pocket there at the bottom. You even have this foam piece this, that you can put bottles in, you can take this out and put it back in. Okay, so here's your threshold. It does have a little um, sill plate there. Power seat here for the passenger side. Underneath the power seat on the passenger side is your jack for your spare tire. Um, so this goes up, down, tilt, forward and back, and a four-way lumbar adjustment. Not a lot of trucks or not a lot of vehicles in general on the passenger side have that many features. Uh, typically, it's, it's just forward and back and tilt, maybe a lumbar support, but not a four-way power lumbar support and not up and down. That's, that's not very common. Another thing I'm going to want to point out, with the leather seats, okay, you have the leather here. But down here, you notice it transitions to cloth because the plastic pieces on the side of the seat, as you sit down on them, it squishes out the seat and it pushes up against this hard plastic. Now, if you were to have the leather, it would eventually damage the leather but since the cloth is more supple it doesn't dig into the leather it just slides across the cloth so this helps uh, keep that portion of the seat last a little bit longer so I thought that was genius so heated and ventilated leather seats they have a traditional leather texturing there then it has that alligator or some kind of skin there on the side and the center portion is the uh, perforated leather that continues into the back, that same styling. And then you have the Longhorn badging patch in the back. So the floor mats, they're just not regular floor mats. They are awesome. They have the filigree there with the Longhorn, Laramie Longhorn edition uh, badging in them. They also have uh, what appears to be barbed wire. They snap in place, easy to get out. Then they have this Berber carpet there in the center portion and just a fantastic, it just looks cool and it's functional because it, not only do you have the, the 
the carpet, but you also have the rubber as a as it catching, you know, mud or snow or whatever. On the side of the center console, it has a compartment here, which uh, is big enough to where you can put file folders or whatever you want in there. It's made for papers or whatever. And getting in and out of the vehicle, it has a handle on all four doors, even on the driver's side, and it has a leather wrapping. So the dashboard has uh, soft touch surfaces, has the contrast stitching, a little, little um, contrast embellishment there. The wood, and it has like a Laramie Longhorn kind of burn into the wood, it looks like. Push this button and that lifts up and you have a little compartment with a light in it. More contrast stitching, lockable glove compartment. Let's go ahead and open that up and it has the uh, felt lining on the inside of the glove compartment as well. Plenty of leg room. I mean, the seats are comfortable. The seats are high enough off the floor to where your knees are not sticking up in the air. It's just a really a luxury truck. Comfort, features, style. It's hard to imagine a better truck than this. It really is. It's amazing to me. Okay, so transitioning to the back portion it's a crew cab so it has a massive door back here but you notice how far out the back door sticks out it's almost at a 90 degree angle uh, this helps out with getting in and out but also uh, for cargo back here and I'll explain that in just a minute so the inside of the rear door just like the front side with all the styling all the features soft touch surfaces pretty much all up in here and all the hard touch surfaces are at the bottom little sill plate back here as well okay so the seats back here are also heated and ventilated seats even for the rear passengers they have the latch system for car seats the badging you can even flip the headrest down for better visibility back here it has a power sliding rear glass armrest which is not just a normal one it actually has a compartment here place to prop up cell phones or whatever cup holders this lifts up you can utilize the center portion for a passenger if you need to and the seats also recline back a little bit by sliding scooting the bottom forward so you see that other seat seats a little bit more forward and the back is more reclined so both of these seats do that so this is a 60 40 split this is your 60 percent and that's your 40 over there even in the back seat you do have the um, hand stitch leather wrapping around the handles the back of both front seats have the pockets on the back right here and then they're embellished with this filigree belt buckle style that's pretty neat and that's just for looks it's not functional that particular thing okay so back here is a power supply AC power supply two USB ports and two USB-C ports. There's your uh, ventilated and heated seat controls, as well as climate control vents, a little storage pocket there for putting your cell phone or whatever. And check out the wood grain around the cup holders. The cup holders also kind of serve as a tablet holder as well. You can see those portions on the side that you can put in a tablet across here, prop it up and watch something or have it in place so it's not falling around has a massive sunroof too we'll, we'll get, show that a little bit later on and these hooks are on the side so you can see on, on both sides you have hooks you also have ambient lighting there now in the previous models also see speakers back here but in in previous models they had the hooks in the very back, which if you hang clothes on it, it's gonna cover up your visibility in the glass. So this, um, you know, put, moving them to the side, I think is a really good idea. Okay, so these seats lift up. So when you lift it up, you have some storage space underneath the seat. You also have a little hook here for hanging a bag or whatever. But also, you have this cargo space. So it's a completely flat floor, no hump in the center. 
So if you need to flip a seat up and you put a box back here, you can do that. That's why you would need the door to swing out wide so you can access this cargo space better. Now you can flip, flip up both seats and have a wide open spot back here. Underneath the floor mat on both sides is a storage compartment. So it has these tie downs and it has this storage compartment. You notice it has a grip here for stepping on, but you lift it up and it's a large storage compartment and it has a liner that is removable and you can dump it, put it back in there. But this, you can have stuff in the vehicle that's out of the way and um, even hidden in a way as well because it's underneath the floor. Okay, so looking around here at the back of the truck, It has a little shark fin antenna here at the very top. That's a flat black. Just below that is your third brake light with bed lights as well. Tail lights are LED. Backup camera is in the very center position, which is perfect. There's some more of that awesome badging back here. The bumper has a really good grip for stepping on. Like if you need to get in the cab or anything. And it has the towing package with the four and seven way outlets. Parking sensors across the back. You can see them kind of hidden in this black section under here. See one there but also here on the side as well. Just like the front, you have good coverage on the parking sensors. You have good coverage on the backup camera. It's in the high position. It's in the middle. They do a really good job, Ram does, with positioning things like that. Okay, so we can lower the tailgate with a button inside the vehicle with the key, or we can push a button under here. So it's basically a button you just let it drop because it has a soft landing. This one has the spray in bed liner. It has uh, cleats there on the side. It's a um, you know tie down system there where you can move those cleats anywhere you want to tie down things. It also has the more robust um, built in tie downs there on the sides, there on the front and the back. You also have LED bed lights in the back in addition to the ones on the back of the cab up there. And it appears that those are standard bulbs, um, not LEDs up there. But you can check out my night video. I go over all the, uh, the lighting, interior and exterior lighting of this vehicle. Or not one similar to this, not this exact one. Fuel door is here on the driver's side. And it's a capless design. It has a rubber seal on the outside of the door. Just give you another view here in the back seat. Uh, we can go ahead and push this seat back so it's not reclining anymore, like so. We could lift it up and you can see the storage compartment under here. And you also have a storage compartment under the floor, just like the other side. You can also flip that back up where you can lower it with a button. As long as you have the key inside the vehicle, it could be in your pocket, in a bag, or sitting in a cup holder. Start it up, put your foot on the brake, hold it, and push this button. Okay, so here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. Floor mat hooks in place. Uh, there's a portion of the carpet uh, turned rubber right there instead uh, for your pedal foot. I guess you can say there's your accelerator and brake pedals. Just wide open places here. So let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. To open the hood, very easy. Right there in the center, you see that little dimple there. Just reach in. And there's a lever, you move it to the left, lift up, just a little bit of energy here, and it goes the rest of the way by itself. 
So the under portion of the hood is insulated. It also has a seal all the way across the front and the back. This helps with airflow and noise. So you have an insulated battery, insulated firewall with some heat shielding at the lower portion of it. You can actually see portions of the engine here. It's not completely covered up with plastic. But this is a 5.7 liter V8 with the addition of the e-torque. Now the e-torque is, so it adds torque to the engine, but not on top of what the engine's capable of, only in the valley. So the, uh, the engine has a RPM range, which is most efficient. That's where you're gonna get your most torque. It doesn't, the e-torque doesn't add to that. It only adds to the torque in the lower ranges. So, uh, so when your engine is not as efficient as it could be because it's not in the right RPM range, uh, then the e-torque is able to supplement a little bit there as far as the torque. Now this is paired to a eight-speed automatic transmission. And I'll put some more information, some links and things to the e-torque and different technology that, that Ram is using. Also, all the specs on this engine, transmission, the dimensions, all the specs will be uh, linked in the description as well. The inside of the driver's side door is just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. So you have two presets for your power seat here on the driver's side. Power windows, uh, the front two are automatic, one touch up and down. The windows are also here in the front are laminated. Let me get it stop right there so you can see. It has two panes of glass with a, an acoustic material on the inside. This is, gives you a stronger pane of glass, but also it, it helps to keep the vibrations of sound uh, from vibrating through the glass and into the vehicle. That's what the intention is anyway. Side mirrors are adjusted right here. Just pick a side and you adjust it with this little pad. You can also have the power folding side mirror. You just push that button and it'll fold in the side mirrors on both sides. So the driver's side seat is just like the passenger. Uh, usually the, the driver one-ups the passenger with an e extra feature or something. But this one, the passenger already has all the features. So this one has all the features as, as the other side. Both heated and ventilated seats and they're comfortable, look fantastic. To the left of the steering column, you have a adjustable pedal button right here. So you can adjust the accelerator and brake pedal in and out. Electronic parking brake. This will lock the rear wheels. Headlight controls are here. So you can turn on, it has automatic headlights, parking light and off. This is for your, um, your cargo light in the back of the bed and this is for your fog lights. Dimmer switch for your interior gauges and your ambient lighting. And you have a tilt and a telescoping steering column that you lock in place here. Real easy to find that lever. It's on the left side, easy to use, easy to find. That's really good. Now, having a tilt and telescoping steering column and adjustable pedals, you should be able to, no matter how tall or short you are, you should be able to get comfortable in this, tr in this truck, especially with all the articulation of the seat and the lumbar and all that stuff. Okay, sitting behind the wheel in the driver's seat, checking it out, this truck is insane. Absolutely amazing. So I have the seat all the way back. I'm six feet tall and it's a little bit too far back for me. So I'm basically stick my legs straight out. I have plenty of leg room. Yeah.